Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. This week in our weekly channeling session, I am going to be chatting with David Bowie in the afterlife. Now I have talked to David Bowie before, so if you're interested in those videos, go ahead and take a look at the playlist. All right, so today I have a topic specific, some questions I'd like to ask him, because when I have chatted with David Bowie before, his energy is definitely one that is willing to teach us to help us to understand in a in a deeper more fuller con uh, fuller context what it's like to be a person but with a very important piece of our spirit connection so being a spirit in a body he really helps us to understand that he's very ascended his vibration is very at, at a very um, high enlightened level and so i think it's great to have topic conversations with him. So I hope you enjoy that. All right. Hello, David. It's nice to have your energy present today. I'd like to invite your energy in deeper so that other people can can feel it. <sighs> Thank you for being here. He says my pleasure. <laughs> His energy feels really good. Can you feel it? Give yourself the gift. Feel into the energy. Just feel it. And even if you need to close your eyes for a moment and just focus on just the breathing, just feel your body breathe. Give yourself this gift to feel his energy because you can feel it. Part of the point of Above Life Channel is to give you the energy experience. So please do that. <sighs> I just want to like, oh, thank you. Like I want to hold his hands and just be like, thank you so much. Your energy feels so great. Very insightful, empowering, uplifting. Thank you so much. I feel a lot of gratitude. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So I have a question about, I want to talk to you about helping us, giving us some advice, some of your wonderful wisdom from the afterlife about living more courageously, being more brave in our lives, about believing in ourselves. Like, how do we do that? You know, how, how, do, we, how do we have so much confidence in ourselves and what we feel is, what we know for us is, is right for us? How do, we, how do we do that? How do we foster that confidence or courage? Or how do we believe in ourselves? How do we do that? He says, it sure isn't easy, is it? Your minds, he says, your minds don't, ma don't make it easy, he says. Yes, one of the things you've, been, you've talked about in other videos when we talk about topics is, uh, is about our mind. Yes, he says, yes, and it does serve a purpose. It does its job very, very well. It, it is designed to keep you from harm and to allow you to navigate life uh, in a body as a person. He says, but what you're asking me about is how to be connected, how to fully realize the connection that you have inside of yourself, despite what the outside world is telling you because there is a lot of messages and information that you get external and what you're seeking to know and what many many are in the same and he says the same boat I don't know if he'd actually use that phrase but that's the words that come through is same boat many are in the same boat there is a misunderstanding about what it means to be confident. What is confidence? And it's not for a lack of fear. That, that's a piece I want to bring forward, he says, I want to bring forward. And it's not for lack of fear. 
many would look at uh, musicians, entertainers, artists, and see the performance, the onstage presence, the, the, it's being in a different zone, it's really channeling, and mistake that for not being afraid, not being afraid of who, who we are and what we do and how we express ourselves. And, and none of that's true. That's all something, a story you've made up in your minds. And, and as a group, as a collective, you've made up these stories about myself and, and other influential and other famous people and other influential leaders. And not that I'm, it's funny because he's like, not that I'm bragging, I'm not boasting. But anyone in the afterlife, any former celebrity, afterlife, contact that you could make would feel the same. Even your relatives in here in the afterlife would feel the same. There is really an insight that comes with being dead, isn't there? He kind of leans forward, giving me permission to drink my water, which I'm going to do because my throat is dry. <laughs> I need to get through the channeling. Thank you, David. <laughs> you recognize that. He's like, he's like, I used to be a person. I know. <laughs> there are human needs. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's exactly right. There are human needs. He says, there are human needs. Must take care of the body. But I think that courage is something you learn. I think you learn that over time, over many, many failures. That is where... And it's not even that you become confident through the experiences you have and the failures you've had. It's, the confidence is the connection, is that knowing you're connected, that you are whole. And that means including your mind, that means your heart, and recognizing that you're not gonna feel like it sometimes but that you are, you are made. You are made to be the person that you are. And you might not feel brave about that or good about that. Uh, concept of good is uh, difficult to explain in afterlife context, he says, but your mind will understand this word good. He says, use it intentionally. But that courage comes in consistency again and again and again and it practice practice does not make perfect <laughs> practice being imperfect practice failing and he says practice falling down and the part you learn from is when you realize doesn't matter. People don't really care. They forget. People forget about your failures as quickly as they forget about your success. It's true. Others are really not thinking about you as much as you think they are thinking about you. And because you, you want to have connection in your human reality, it does matter to you what other people's opinions are. It does. You pay attention to the reviews, to the critics, to the people around you that seem to be giving you sound advice. But the most important person you need to be listening to is you. And it is not easy to do that. It is not easy to do that in a crowd of voices that you have inside your head that are telling you all the things you've done before and you've made horrible mistakes at and that you should never do that again or never try that again. Don't listen. To that listen inside of you with the connection of what is true for you and that comes from inside there is a divine wisdom in each and every one of you everyone has the power of the common 
good. The common, what can you explain that? He says the common wealth of energy that supports us all, the common wealth of energy that supports us all is a collective. It is a conscious awareness. It is a heightened level of acceptance. And through the acceptance of that comes the freedom. This specifically, I am speaking of your spirit, which is housed in your solar plexus chakra, which is that energy center inside of you at the, at the soul core of your body. And it brings light. And that light is what courage is. That pure light, solar energy, that is what courage is. You can feel courage. At the same time, you can experience the contrast of fear. And the highlight, the highlights of the previous experiences that you've had serve you. Not to prevent you from doing things, from experiencing life, from expressing yourself, but highlight the importance of the connection to your soul and the wisdom that lives inside of you. That is a consciousness and an awareness that, that can bring you whatever you are, you are wanting to have it happen for your life, experience in your life. The simple presence of that powerful energy of you, of the source of truly you, of, your, of, all, of the truth of you, that is where confidence comes in to place. Place, place, yes, intentional. Geographic location is going to be extremely important for confidence. And you must have a level of acceptance of yourself and allowance and freedom to afford yourself the possibilities and the opportunities that present themselves are many, many, many. And having the courage to step into that, knowing it's likely you're gonna fall sometimes, but not all the time, but it's worth it. It's worth it, that's what you came for. Interesting. I feel really mellow, my arms are really relaxed right now. <sighs> I feel, he, um, when he's speaking about this, about believing in ourselves, about courage, confidence, the energy is aligning my spine and all the chakras in the body. Chakras are energy centers of the body. There's seven primary energy centers. There's way more than that as far as chakras and energy goes. But if you're new to this, chakras are seven energy centers of the body. And there's this beautiful alignment that's kind of coming into place as he's speaking about this, almost like an opening, like a, like a rose kind of unfurling like that, like just a little opening, a little bloom like that. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, thank you for that. So everyone, please receive that as part of the, the channel today. So how do we believe? Give me advice. How do I believe in myself so strongly that other opinions don't really matter? Like, how do I do that? Give me more. I mean, I think, I feel like I'm pretty good at that. I'm pretty brave, but I definitely have room for improvement because I am not even close to mastery of this whole confidence, courage, believing in myself, believing, believing in ourselves. Can you give us some wisdom <laughs> about that? There's a lot of blue energy that comes forward when I said that and he just, blue energy that opens up. Um, the energy of blue is energy of truth. When I see it, when I'm in session, it's true. That's what's true, that's true, that's true. And it's also third eye chakra, which is clairvoyance, which is visioning, visual, like what do you see? How are you seeing the world energy? Oftentimes um, he's, so he's giving me some information, like he just gave me a box of information, open it up, read it, and now I'm gonna share it with you. It's one of the ways that I channel. It's like an infused knowledge kind of a thing. Uh, the transference of information in the channel comes in many different ways. Here's one example. All right, so the energy feels like We have a variety, we have access to a variety of views, of images, of metaphors, of things that are tangible and human that we see and observe in our physical environment or in the relationships of others that are around us. And there are also 
things that we shift into given our patterning given he's like it's like a it's like an outline he's showing me like an outline like i see an outline given the outline wait a minute talk about the outline what does that mean are you talking like a soul plan uh, a chart for our whole lives no 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 he says no a a collaborative effort between what the mind can help to accomplish so that the soul can experience that's what he says so it's like an outline like bullet points is what it looks like a general gist or idea it looks like um, for those who are watching this looks like um, this little outline thing looks like to me kind of how I would perceive a soul plan I'm just gonna say that even though he's not acknowledging that that but that's what it looks like to me because I believe the soul plan is your spirit before you come into a body um, in collaboration with your team so your healing team of helpers your angels your guides your spirit guides helpers all that you kind of meet and create this plan and it's not set in stone it's very fluid it's like a rough draft and it's like bullet points that's it it's like talking points it's not specific it's very open and flowing and you can change it it's in pencil at any time and so that's what it looks like to me he says in the context of your reality what you see is what you believe and all of the things you've seen throughout your lifetime and perhaps in others he says if you're accessing those records records he says records that gives you the context of how you value and evaluate how it is you're feeling how it is you're behaving and then you change you shift you adjust your your state of expression to be more accepting or acceptable in the environments that you're in or the people or relationships that you're in it's he says it's very fascinating how this happens just think of a cocktail party think of um, how you behave when you're with your children or your family and versus how you behave when you're doing a presentation a presentation at work for example very different right so how does this uh, how do we believe in ourselves like how does this affect our believing in ourselves it's how you know who you are it's the difference between who you're being the effort it takes to be behave in a certain way based upon the values that you have acquired and recognized throughout your lifetime through the experience observations and relationships you've had versus versus the energy of the pure knowing of your spirit pure knowing of your spirit there's no effort there's no efforting there's only resistance stopping you from getting into that pure knowing being who you are oh he's just reminding me so i got this gift recently from my sister my sister and it's a bracelet and it says you know who you are you know who you are that's what we're talking about isn't it knowing who we are at the core of us as we were created pure and beautiful light as god creator made us right he says as, as you were made so it's perfect perfectly flawed he's saying perfect with all the flaws the evaluation process is what takes you off course it takes you away it detracts you it causes like a and he's showing me like shade like a tree and shading the light from keeping the light from hitting the ground or curtains like my curtains keeping the light from coming in that's what evaluation is it's, it's a process that the mind uses to make sense of things that happen and to make sense of our personal values and the experiences and the beliefs that we've created based upon what we've observed and participated in it and as a human that versus what our soul what our soul is pure just purely is and the evaluation process tries to bring in our personal past experiences with the information that we're gathering in order to make uh, uh, give us some rules some sense of uh, 
of structure because that's what secure that kind of structure security knowing the patterns helps the mind give us a way to present ourselves into the world that so we're accepted and we want to be accepted because why because the point is to be connected like connection so if you want to believe in yourself you must connect fully with yourself he's like you must be connected not outside of yourself inside you've got to be willing and he says both are important both aspects both the expression of you as a human using your mind your your brain your experiences your your feelings your emotions your body to show up that that's important but without the connection to your soul then it's difficult to believe in yourself because that's what your self is it's your soul your spirit that's what your self is you have to believe in that that's that's the greater consciousness that's the greater that's the that's the greater broader existence of who you are of what you are beyond a body beyond what your mind could even think to create in your structure of what your life is it's beyond that and that's why it's really important to connect with your spirit yourself to know yourself to know yourself so well and that's that takes bravery he says that takes being brave that takes being afraid and making mistakes that's just part of the that's part of the growth that's part of what you wanted when you came into your human life the one that you chose okay thank you i'm like wow this is really i'm getting a lot of information i can feel it around my head cuz it feels almost like the energy that david boy is bringing in in this conversation about believing in ourselves about having confidence having courage is really about shifting our mind allowing our mind not making our mind bad but allowing our mind to be free to be able to flow and think differently and see things differently and shift our perspectives and change the way what we think is important it can change over time because we grow we're not the same people we were when we were 12 years old or we're not the same people we were when we graduated from high school do you remember graduating from high school you're not the same person you were when you were 18 how about 21 how about 30 for some of us how about 45 how about that how about 50 you're not the same person you were we're constantly growing and evolving and becoming more of ourselves easier i think our spirit to be to have our soul more incorporated into our day-to-day life so it's so natural it's just part of us is what we're striving for that's what we've been seeking and over the course of our lifetime we're breaking down the barriers inside the resistance points inside the the belief systems that tried to keep us safe and when we recognize we don't need that high level of alert you know like oh my gosh oh my gosh you know you know the sky is falling we don't need that much of intensity protection you know <laughs> we don't need that much we got to loosen up and not worry so much and allow our spirit to be in full bloom and view and recognize that that means that we're not going to always be accepted that we're not always going to be comfortable and that people are not going to like us and that's that that's their choice too they get to decide that we can't make people decide what they think of us and we get to a point where we get to recognize that that's not what matters to your spirit your spirit didn't come here to be liked you already are love you already are in a state of adoration and an admiration in your spirit if you can connect with that you'll feel it and that freedom that flows will be easy to believe in because it's who you are it is simply who you are Thank you so much for watching. This is Bridget at Above Life Channel where I do weekly channeling videos. You've been watching a very interesting topic-based conversation with David Bowie in the Afterlife where we talked about what, give us some advice about believing in ourselves. How do we do that? And we talked about courage, we talked about um confidence, and I hope you've enjoyed this. Remember the purpose here is to inspire you, to fill you up with hope because this whatever you get from this video This is about your life. How do you apply it to your life?
This is your life. So live it. Just live it. Live it. Thanks for watching. Thank you, David. Always a pleasure.